Welcome back to the HVAC Budget Channel. Today I'm bringing you the Professional, that's the name that's on this one, multi-tool, the Paul Chen multi-tool, I guess is what it has been called as well. So you'll find this on eBay or on Amazon. I bought this one on Amazon for around $25, I believe is what I paid for this one. So the main feature of this is the shears at the end. So I wanted to show you that. So let's see if it can cut through some of these wires. And there we go, very good. We'll cut through just this insulation. That's just empty insulation. Can it cut through all these? Yes, it can. So these are three, uh, probably about 14 gauge wire, 16 gauge, somewhere around there. Uh, but anyway, so it cuts fairly well. Now I did, I have noticed I was trying to cut some rope earlier, some, this isn't really paracord, but it's, it's getting caught up on this fabric. So I'm not sure why, but it's there. It's doing a little better there, but I must, I think I found a dull spot on the end of the blade, but you may have to sharpen these up. But these are pretty heavy duty pair of shears. Now that I've, cut them through those wires. I'm a little bit happier with them. Earlier they weren't cutting so well, so that's good to know. So that's its main claim to fame, those shears and suppliers, so those are pretty neat. Now retracting these, again this is going to be the one hand opening out the front um, instead of your normal butterfly. Let's go ahead and look at the pliers. So these pliers are reminiscent of like the Swiss army pliers, so as long as you're using them for something like this, you're good. But if you ever want to use it for a micro task, do not use these for a pair of tweezers because they will get caught. They have a little edge down here where they actually fold together so they don't uh, flip out and they actually are supposed to fit in there, that notch. But for some reason, once they come out here, they get caught. So some of that metal would need filed down if you want to use these for any precision tasks. So anywhere past there, they will not close without getting bound up. So something to keep in mind if you want to use it for more precision tasks, you would need to do some modding on that. All right, so then we also have a couple unique tools here. We've got a pruning saw right here. This is not locking. Again, I'm just gonna use it to cut this plastic. I know that's not what it's for, but just to illustrate, so it's, it is cutting. And then you can fold it there. And then one of the neat things I like about this is you do actually get a file that comes out. So that's pretty neat. You get a file that comes out and then you can use that to sharpen tools or, or whatever to work on different tasks. And then that fits back in that slot. All right, so then on the other side, if I can use this thumb stud, there we go. We can open that and that does have a linear lock and there is your knife. Now this knife, Again, maybe I just was not hitting the right spot, but it's not extremely sharp. I ran my finger just tentatively along it. It just it feels sort of dull. It does cut, but not very well. I definitely think you'd have to touch that up and do some work on that as well. All right, so let's look at some of the inner implements. You have your can opener, which I know you desperately need and then you have your flat edge screwdriver. So both these as well are not locking. I, do, I don't want to extend these because all the way because when I try to push these back, uh, the sharp edge on there, it gets a little dangerous. So you want to be careful about these tools. They're very hard to push out and then push back. So it's a little, little uncomfortable to use them. This does have this small screwdriver on the end. And then on the other side, we have this fairly chunky dimensional Phillips, which reminds me of some of the Gerber older tools. So sort of neat. Again, it's not locking, but it's got a pretty good retention. Definitely better than like the Gerber arm bar. So definitely better than that. 
All right, so overall thoughts. Well, I would have to say the positive is these shears. They are heavy duty shears. They seem to be able to work fairly well. I don't think mine were as sharp as some other people's out of the box that I've seen reviewed on these. It's a little disappointed, but they may just need touched up. I do like the option of the file, how it sort of removes from the frame and then can just fit back in. I think that's pretty neat. I always like that modularity, that versatility. This does also have a pocket clip. I would not say that's necessarily a plus because this is a very heavy tool. This is a lot heavier than the Gerber 600 just by fill. I haven't weighed this, but it is similar, I would say, to Leatherman OHT, just rather a heavy multi-tool. As far as negatives, again, the weight, but also these pliers right here. To me, they don't work that great. The knife didn't seem that sharp. I think the shears on mine need sharpened. Other people seem to be very sharp out of the box. Overall, I think this is a unique tool. I will probably keep it maybe for a while because of that, but this is not something I would necessarily use. Now, if you are using this uh, day to day or in the garden, then yes, that's something you might be very interested in using. But just for me, uh, it's probably not going to be extremely useful, but it's a pretty neat tool. I like new concepts, and I do give them a plus for trying something different. All right, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.